Hello, it is Saturday, August. Hello, it is Saturday, August 1st, 2015, and we are here shooting the first Abuse of Power Solar Death Ray title. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna use the FS100, a regular NX5, and the high speed, which I forgot the technical name of. Because Edgertronic. Edgertronic. Which we call Bay. Haha! <laughs> Here I am making videographic proof that it did in fact succeed, and it has been printed. I am doing this because I have a reasonable expectation that I'm going to break it when I try and get it off of that really, really robust raft. I got it off without breaking it. So now I have to glue the letters to the actual backdrop. The finished product. Um, got a shot list. <laughs> with, okay. The, the blue are the ones we have to get all at once because we only have one of these because we ran out of black plastic. Yes. So, we're going to practice the procedure on just a 2 by 4 And we have a beautiful day for it. We can just write a Sharpie just in case the plastic goes that tits up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, I can do that. Like, I, that was a joke, but okay. I'm gonna do it. My goal is, if you point this at the sun, it's going to right to about here, okay? It's gonna be, this radius is about where you, is, is the focus, okay? So this, oh, this yeah, radius. Oh, yeah, that makes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But we can, by angling the mirror, we can shift that down quite a bit but I need to get this to where I'm headed pretty close and then shoot it. But to hit it, I have to, what I have to do is sweep the mirror down and then kick this in and out on axis to get where we're headed. Ah. Uh, you don't want to be in front. It, oh, hey, look at you. quite happily kill you. Haha! -ha. Wow, that's uh. It's like it's sunny out. Where'd you go? Oh. I can't see anything with the goggles down. So, come over. And you want to stay really close to the mirror. Okay, really close. That's the only safe place. And just drag it right down in front. And then it's off. Okay. And when you take it off, take it straight off like that. Don't bring it way out, because if you sweep out, the minute any sunlight hits down here, it, it's on. It ends bad. And for the love of God, don't put your hand in front of that. It's about a thousand watts of concentrated energy. Alright, so we're set up here. I'm gonna roll on white and red. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. <laughs> the camera can't see what's in the viewfinder of the other camera, but I promise you it's pretty. Rolling on red! I'm in place. I'm in place. Go! Alright, going.
So it's a good thing white has basically all of the shutter because that is really bright. Oh, I wonder how that looks. In this other camera. It's a good thing white has basic... All right, we're rolling it up. We're doing a test to see what happens to the plastic and how soon something starts to happen to it. So Jeez. we know how long to run the Edgertronic for and when to trigger the Edgertronic. And it looks like the plastic is catching fire and burning in black, it, it really carbon so smoke yeah, I got the fire immediately. The yeah, okay. The entire goal for that shot with the Edgertronic is to just see that wreath in flame. It doesn't need to be melted. But... Okay. I just wanted to be doing one or the other. Cover her back up, and I just realized that we don't have a fire extinguisher. So that's pretty much the day. We'll get the rest of the shots. Like, there's some shots we need of the actual, like, build-up. Like, rolling the thing out there, and, like, probably a close-up on the crank as it's being adjusted and stuff like that stuff like the operation of thumper and the impulse generator title but we're not getting that today getting that sometime next week